everyone is different. You know, I, I, when I first got into the business, especially with, um, you know, I think the, in, the invention of the internet, you know, when that all came out and there's prep coaches and um, a lot of them, when it comes to like, you know, if you hit your macros and having certain foods that you can eat in order to get yourself lean and ripped up, mm-hmm. I was always, I think, maybe lucky because I have the discipline to just basically stay on a basic diet. I don't need a lot of variety so I can use chicken breast and fish and, and brown rice and asparagus the entire prep and not feel crazy. And I think that helps me to, um, you know, enjoy the process. I, I don't feel super crabby. I get tired, of course, um, when I start getting, you know, lower body fat and just a lot, just because of the actual training. But when I'm in contest prep, I do eat really clean. Um, I've tried other protocols when I tried, you know, using like the macros and having, you know, pop tarts and things like that, <laughs> but it just doesn't work for me, at least to the, getting to the way I want to look, sure. but that doesn't mean there's other approaches that don't work. I look at people like Cliff Wilson and the way he preps his, his clients. And I think he's probably one of the most successful prep coaches out there. So, you know, I, I would, his protocol is fine. It's really an individual basis. But what I do truly believe is that you do not want to be a slave to your nutrition. You know, I think that especially in the off season, people are so afraid to kind of get off of a prep, you know, and even if you reverse diet or whatever, just enjoy life, enjoy food, enjoy your families. You know, you don't need to just always eat the same type of food, you know, go out and have cake and ice cream and all those good things, your favorite foods. And I do online prep coaching for uh, uh, about 10 or 12 uh, people as well. And I always give them, you know, a refeed slash cheat meal. Like enjoy some food during that prep, give yourself enough time so that it's not a, um, it's not so painful. You know, it shouldn't be something that's a pain for you. You should be able to, um, you know, enjoy the process as long as you can for a while before it gets down to maybe the last month and then you get really really hardcore and you can you can take a month in of really getting super strict to get you to where you need to be but the entire process doesn't have to be painful you know and I think if you do that it allows it to be something that's not so much of a mind game for you because there's a lot of mental health issues and things like that and 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 uh, issues with food due to the fact when you're prepping especially for women I think not as much for men but you have to really be careful on the nutrition side of the house but I said, I think for me, I've been very blessed the fact that, you know, I kind of enjoy the food. I'm, I'm kind of a carnivore by, by trade, so I don't need to have a lot of carbs. You know, I give me some steak and fish and chicken and eggs, and I'm, I'm good. I can have it the whole time. So. <laughs> but, yeah. Do you think a big part of that is your military background, being able to be disciplined with this approach and it not disrupt your whole reality, where some people, if they were to stick with just, you know, these select foods, they would just go completely berserk. Like that, that's the whole, everyone's different thing that you were mentioning. So. Yes, that's exactly right. I, that discipline I've had, even as a young kid, my dad was, you know, very disciplined with me and I just, you know, I'm kind of like a robot type A. It's good. You just put me there and I'm focused on it. Um, but at the same time, I do love my sweets. I love my Reese's peanut butter cups, anything peanut butter, pretty much, you know, and that, that's like my, my diet, my kryptonite, you know, so you have your things like chocolate chip cookies, um, so people are surprised even at my job, you know, I'll be, um, eating really clean and then someone will bring the Reese's peanut butter cups and cookies and I'll actually eat some, you know, it's like, not going to affect me, but I'm not going to do it now because I'm very close to the show, but <laughs> um, you're right, right. I saw the right, end right. of the generation iron where you were, where you were just destroying that buttercup. I had to go get one myself. I was so jealous. I was like, Oh man, that looks good. Yeah, you were really so, enjoying that one. <laughs> yes. That was, that was better than even the prize one. That's that right. <laughs> but it was really good yeah. <laughs> that's awesome you obviously have these two camps of people and it's unfortunate that they're in these camps but it's it's fair because sometimes it's preference or just belief system or whatever it is that kind of leads you towards one end of the spectrum but to hear your uh, i guess experience with doing six seven days training but not 